Well, that is completely fabulous. I've been here a bit this morning. It's been really lovely. I'm just ambling around completely willy-nilly, just, just going wherever I want. I've not selected a particular area. I'm just having a lovely time. And I haven't found an awful lot apart from the obvious sort of ring pools, stuff like that, until now. Now, I think that might be Saxon. I think it might be zoomorphic, um, i.e. some sort of animal depicted. I can see two eyes and a snout, I think. Gosh, it's a strap end, I think. Um, but really, I mean, the design on it, I mean, and it looks like it might have been made yesterday. It's pristine. That's really got me going because it's been really quiet. It's been really lovely. It's been really fun. I'm not even plugged in um, to the detector yet. I'm just having a nice time just wandering about. And that's really, well, it's got my blood going. Gosh, I mean, this really is, oh, I can go home now. Don't need anything after that. What a find. Hi there, welcome to temporary headquarters. Uh, a little different to the normal headquarters. I still have taxidermy here though, fortunately. This is one of my cases full of golden and silver pheasants. Um, a really beautiful thing. As you know from normal headquarters, usually my taxidermy cases are a bit smaller, but I love the big ones as well. They're just slightly more difficult to house. Tasky's by my feet if you hear strange noises of him chewing plastic objects. So <laughs> that explains that. This Saxon, it is Saxon. I really felt it may have been Saxon at the time, but I didn't want to jinx it um, because I'd seen photographs of them before. But this one is absolutely fabulous. The condition is amazing. Um, it looks like it could have been made yesterday. It's one of the best zoomorphic examples I've actually seen well, in, uh, even while researching them. I put it on the detectinghub.co.uk information below, um, thinking that you know, I just wanted it confirmed, and it was. It's 7th to 8th century early medieval Saxon man, and I'm absolutely thrilled with it. Someone also remarked on that, did it have any signs of original gilding. I hadn't thought about it perhaps being gilded originally, but perhaps it, perhaps it was, it could, could easily have been. It's, the, the quality is there. Um, it doesn't show any signs of the gilding, but it, you can clearly see the, uh, the design that is there, including the two little eyes, rather googly eyes, um, and his, and his um, little snout. It's zoomorphic, as I said at the time, depicting some sort of animal or having an animal sort of imagery in the, in the object itself. I'm absolutely over the moon. It's just completely beautiful. I can't stop touching it, holding it, looking at it. Um, I found very few bits of Saxon where, as it were, um, and to find something of this quality is just really, you know, out there. So, yeah, <laughs> still rather speechless. Anyway, back to the fields. It's just a lovely day to be out here for this sort of thing, not taking it too seriously. But I, but I am now. Well, that's lovely and faint. I've dug up so many ring pulls already today that I'm, I'm just gonna do faint ones for the time being. Now, it turns out that this was plowed quite heavily um, during the Second World War for obvious reasons, to feed the nation. So it would explain why some things are close to the surface. Mm, it's sounding a bit jumpy now. Right, I don't think it's iron. I thought it might have been deep iron at one point, but it's just here, it's just there. Right, what does it sound like now? Not iron. That's not iron. It's a tiny little button. 
Gosh, this is working today. It looks like a, a military one of sorts, but quite deep, but a long way down. My God, it's like buses. A lovely couple of hours finding nothing. Now, I don't know what to say about this. It's big, big lead. So much so that I was just thinking another big slab of lead, boring. I mean, absolutely belting sound. I went down and down and down about 12 inches. I don't know what it is, but it's got all sorts of very odd writing on it. It doesn't look English, it looks runic, it looks Viking. Um, it's got a little bit sticking out there. I don't know whether that would have held it on something. Um, and it's got a sort of, <laughs> God, I'm completely speechless. Wow. Um, well, we'll just have to get that onto whatever and see. But um, um, someone was wishing I would find Viking things recently. Well, <laughs> I think that must be. I, don't, I can't think what else it is. Um, is it a seal matrix of sorts? That would make sense because it would, it would mean everything was backwards. But, um, God, I just don't know. Just fabulous. What a find. So here we are to look at this absolutely fabulous seal matrix. It is a seal matrix. Um, in the video, I sort of thought it may have been because it suddenly crossed my mind. Something in my brain ticked over that I'd seen something like it before. And I have seen things like it before. I've seen the vesica ones, which are these sort of pointed oval ones. I've seen plenty of photographs of those, but I'd completely forgotten about the round ones because I don't really know much about the round ones. And the wonderful thing about this hobby is as soon as you find something different, you research it, you learn about it, you'll never ever forget it. And as soon as someone else shows one, then you can say, oh, that's a, a what's it. I mean, it's amazing what your memory holds once you research it yourself. It's a seal matrix. It's a 12th century round seal matrix. And this bit here, the lug, um, does two things. It may have actually had a hole in it at one point and been able to suspend it from something. And secondly, it shows you where the top of the matrix is when you are making your seal. The writing confused me at the time because it looked so ancient. In fact, it's just medieval writing written the wrong way round so that it prints out the correct way round. Um, I didn't say that particularly scientifically, but that's obviously what happens. So, yeah, it's a 12th century seal matrix and I know what it says roughly. I haven't researched it completely. It says the seal of Stefan. I can now see Stefan fairly obviously of and the last section um, I'm still looking into but um, it's plain on one side and it's that on the other and I'm absolutely thrilled because I've never found one before. There's plenty that have been found, it's not quite as rare as I thought it was but in this condition I mean absolutely beautiful and, in and an incredible bit of personal history. They reckon that the personal ones like this with someone's name on it date to the 13th century maybe slightly earlier. And then the later ones, like the one I sh had in my last video, the, the, um, the bronze actual stampy one, which has a sort of slightly more generic motto. In this case, it said, Crede Miki, um, which is believe in me. It's M-I-C-H-I, -I, that might be Michi, I don't know. I imagine it's Miki. Those ones date to slightly later. They might be sort of in the 1300s. But it's just, you just wonder who it was who had this, who was stamping his name, Stefan, all those years ago. I mean, I'm absolutely thrilled with it. Really, really cool object. Oops, <laughs> didn't break it. Um, right, back to the fields, thank you. And I've been over this before. Uh, you could be forgiven for not digging that. I would have left that on certain occasions because it was just too loud. Wow. Well, I took my hat off because it was getting really nice and warm, but it's suddenly getting a bit chilly again. <laughs> I 
Now, that's a bit squeaky, but it's sort of, dare I say it, it's the right depth. It's not on the surface. It's not too deep. It'll probably be a modern coin. That's what they are at the minute. I've been finding, I found about six quid's worth again. That's not a good sign. That's picking up a very large area. It's nice when the pinpointer just gets excited in a small inch or so. If it's like that, but after that socking great piece of runic lead I found, I'm digging these deep ones. Sometimes you have to reset this. Right, it was going a bit haywire earlier, so my confidence is back up. Still deep. Ooh, that's not nice. Running out of batteries. Oh. Right, we're out, finally. I think it's lead, but don't mind lead at the moment. Yeah. Big bit of lead, bring it on though. Nothing on that. Well, I didn't live dig this because it was really scratchy. Sounds a bit better now. In hindsight, I probably should have done because we know that scratchy signals are good. And it's a little hammered coin. My first one today. Not in very good condition. It's got a shield on one side. I presume it's an Elizabeth of sorts in that case. Um, tiny little thing. But, God, how lovely. I was about to call it a day. Actually, I can see his funny, flary um, uh, feet, I think. You know the one I mean, when I think it's Henry VIII, he's sort of sitting down. You can see his sort of bell bottoms. <laughs> um, well, that's what I think it is. I don't know. Lovely little coin, really, please. I was about to call it a day um, because I can't stop thinking about what's in my pocket. Um, and even though it hasn't been the day of greatest finds quantity-wise, well, so far, three really lovely things. I can't complain. I've had an absolutely brilliant day. It's been superb. Well, that's quite close to the surface, but that's not putting me off. <laughs> and it's still there. I'm running out of batteries on this. This is not going to last much longer. It's quite fun not having the pinpointer sometimes. But only when it's nice and dry. You don't want to be doing it when it's wet and nasty. Well, not particularly special, but certainly old. Um, I think it's part of a strap end. Got a nice piece of design there um, and a little bit of zigzagginess around the side. So, well, nothing to write home about, but it's certainly well, I would suspect it would, it's medieval. Ooh, what a lovely day we're having. Well, I didn't live dig this because it was so soon after the last one and you never do two together because they're never going to be two good finds one after the other. Well, not usually anyway. <clears throat> and I'm absolutely over the moon. It's a short cross. It's the best short cross penny 
I have ever found. It's completely unclipped. I can read everything on it. Um, I mean, I'm absolutely blown away. And I'm sorry you haven't seen me digging up the really good things today live. Believe it or not, I use up to five cameras filming these things sometimes. And if I'm digging up bits of rubbish one after the other, I simply stop setting up. It just takes too long. And especially if I'm enjoying myself, I can't set up on each dig because I wouldn't enjoy myself anymore. But the other thing I do not do, as someone has, a couple of people have suggested, is come to these fields with my pockets full of things, pretending to dig them live. I A, wouldn't get any satisfaction out of that, B, it's completely pointless. So what you see is exactly what I'm finding. You're just not seeing me actually dig it out there and then. Because if I were to do that, I would never have any time to actually find the good things. Um, fair enough, if I had a camera on my chest or switched on my head all day long, then I would live dig everything. But I don't do it that way. So you're just gonna have to trust me, I'm afraid. Um, everything you see is absolutely 100% spot on real. Um, as is this incredible penny. Um, I don't know what to say apart from the fact that that's now four really, really good things. Um, not uh, fantastic day quantity wise, but my God, the quality has been there. And a quick look at this, I can't let you go. I'm not gonna bang on about it because we know what it is, but I have never found a coin in this, in this condition. Um, short cross, um, completely unclipped. The detail is just amazing. Um, I won't bang on about it, just show it to you. Have a little look. I don't think I'm gonna beat that and I really wanna start researching what's in my pocket. So on that, I'm gonna call it a day. Um, because it's just not, it just can't get better. <laughs> I mean, that is just mind blowing. Thank you very much for watching me. Sorry about the rant, but sometimes these things need to be said. Um, and see you next time. No rant next time. <sighs>